to SS Innovations presents SMRSC 2025, the second global SSI multi-speciality robotic surgery conference. I'm your host, Ritham Bhatnagar. This distinguished two-day conclave recently held in Gurugram featured live surgical demos, telesurgeries, insightful presentations and engaging discussions with leading experts from across the globe. Over the next 30 minutes, we shall explore the future of surgery with live demos of SSI Mantra 3.0 Surgical Robotic System along with exclusive sessions on telesurgery. Now, SS Innovations envisions a future where affordable, indigenous robotic surgery transforms healthcare across the country, making democratization of advanced procedures such as robotic surgery accessible to all. Additionally, it also takes pride in steering India towards healthcare self-sufficiency at affordable rates. So fasten your seat belts as we take you through this transformative journey into the next era of surgical innovation. The event kick-started with a welcome address by Dr. Vishwajyoti Srivastava, President and CEO of SS Innovations, followed by an insightful session by Dr. Husam Balki, a renowned cardiac surgeon who shared his journey in developing a successful TCAP program, a breakthrough approach to performing coronary bypass surgery. The event brought together esteemed participants from across the globe, fostering a dynamic exchange of expertise and innovation. This is our second global conference. More than 1,200 people have registered and I have a feeling there are more, literally from around the world. As far as South America, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, then there are people from Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Eastern European countries, Central European countries, Sri Lanka, I mean Nepal, all over the world. So essentially, considering a very high level of this conference, live surgical cases, both in multi-specialty as well as cardiac, telesurgery, which literally nobody has done to this level. Nobody has done telecardiac. So it literally puts India and our mantra system on a global map for its achievements and how far we have come. In this session, Dr. Michio Kaku, a renowned physicist and visionary thinker, shared his insights on how high-speed networks and quantum computing are paving the way for seamless remote surgeries. We're growing with our capabilities with regards to telesurgery, communications between the surgeon and the patient. All of this is rapidly expanding and it shows the power of the technology that using telecommunications, you can have the surgeon in one city, have the patient in another city, <clears throat> and have the two complement each other so that healthcare is improved. And so this is something that was a missing link that we didn't have before. If you were in an isolated area and you were in a car accident, chances are you would just die. Now we have an extra layer because of communication skills that allow you to correctly communicate with a doctor in another city. So this is a game changer, and it's only going to get better with the future. The next session by Dr. Sudhir Rawal delved into the nuances of SSI Mantra 3.0 and its transformative impact on the surgical robotic markets in India and abroad. Mantra 3 is exactly fits into doing all these big surgery. It has the advantage of having the portable robot, which can go in, in the you know class two, class three city. And then in the high-end cancer center or in the medical college or corporate hospital, uh, it is have all the potential to go all the hospital in the country and abroad because it is affordable. Ergonomics is same as, as it is of robotic surgery. Vision is very good, 3D, 4K, 4K is rather improved vision, and the arms are very sleek and uh, the foundation of the robot on which it sits is very sturdy. So it has all the advantage and it's definitely going to change the scene in cancer surgery and your oncology especially. I think every operation which is done in oncology uh, with a minimally, minimally invasive approach uh, should be done with the robots. And uh, with SMRC 2025 has focused all the surgery which has been done with the mantra robots. 
Uh, in our center, we have done around 450 uh, surgeries uh, using Mantra 2 and Mantra 3 robot. And all over the country, the people who have used Mantra, they have come here to share their experiences, to see that what we can do in future and give the feedback to the uh, makers also. There was sort of no turning back for me. Dr. Frederick uh, Moll, widely known as the father of robotic surgery, then took the stage to share his journey with uh, Mantra 3 and his uh, vision for the future uh, of robotic surgery. I'm very excited about uh, Mantra 3 for a variety of reasons. First of all, I think it's a um, very capable robotic system that can add a lot of clinical benefit to patients, that's number one. But I also think it incorporates uh, certain aspects of next generation robotic capability, uh, like telesurgery or long distance um, uh, applications to patients that otherwise would not have the ability to, uh, to benefit from the experience of robotic surgery. Next up, Dr. Soma Shekhar, a strong advocate for Made in India technologies, made history by performing India's first North to South tele-surgery on the SSI Mantra 3.0 at the SMRSC 2025, operating seamlessly over 2,000 kilometers from Delhi to Bengaluru with zero lag and real-time precision. In this groundbreaking feat, two highly complex procedures were successfully conducted from SMRSC 2025 while the patient was in Aster CMI Hospital in Bengaluru. Now, with many robotic platforms available, especially our own Made in India for the World SSI Mantra robot, which is highly affordable, very high quality. So now there are two types of costs which a robotic surgery has. One is a direct procurement cost when we take a machine and we operate which is one third than any other platform compared which is available in India. Second thing is because of its minimal access nature, patient go home in one to two days, no blood transfusion, less pain, no ICU stay, quick return to your work back. So indirectly the hospital bed occupied, doctor required, sister cost is 20-30% less. So in effective a robotic surgery is much cheaper when you take the overall expense to the healthcare. Brace yourself for a groundbreaking moment at SMRSC 2025 where innovation meets mobility. The SSI Mantra mobile unit, a state-of-the-art surgical bus, is set to redefine the access to advanced surgical care with cutting-edge telesurgery capabilities. Witness the grand unveiling of the SSI Mantra Telesync mobile unit. Three. Two, one. And to walk us through the revolutionary features of the SSI Mantram, I'm now joined in by the visionary, the pioneer, Dr. Sudhir Shirvastava, who's also popularly called as the Robo Doctor. Sir, thank you so much for taking out the time and speaking to us. We've, of course, given the viewers a little glimpse of the revolutionary features and the kind of progress that has been made. But I want to hear from you because you're known as a pioneer and as a visionary, making an India, make it for the world. Healthcare is never, you know, affordable, but you, that's your vision behind it. So could you talk to us a little about how you're trying to make cardiac surgery, how you're trying to take tele-surgery across not just in India but across the world uh, with that same vision of yours? Sure. So, so we have created this Mantra 3, the latest generation. And uh, the whole idea was not only to create a technology that will be hopefully more advanced, better features, more specialties, and ultimately, most importantly, be affordable. Because if the technology is expensive, then most patients don't benefit. So what we have done at SS Innovation is truly with the help of our Indian team, an indigenous product that we are very proud of making in India. We now have created Mantra 3 system that not only is being used now, we have done more than almost 3,200 cases with no device-related complication or injury or mortality. And so 
latest one is that we have done tele-surgery and that means literally sitting in our Gurgaon office, we have operated Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute and then recently I have done cardiac surgery which was the world's first one sitting in uh, Gurgaon operating in a patient in Jod uh, Jaipur. So we have done now five heart surgeries and almost nine or uh, ten other procedures. Sure. And I think the whole idea was to really what I call decentralize and democratize access. So with that we have also created this bus that we are sitting in today and we showed today in a live setting that Dr. Manjari sitting here was controlling a robotic system in Bangalore at Esther Hospital. So the whole idea of tele-surgery is so that we can literally bring the care to the patient because leaving their hometowns or leaving villages is very inconvenient. So all the, this idea is to really help the patients wherever required and also to be able to offer the expertise of surgeons which otherwise will not be available in many of these communities where patients have to travel to big cities. Why don't you just take us through some of the key revolutionary features in this bus that we're sitting in? So the bus in fact uh, has an, the entire system. So our vision cart that I'm sitting on right now, uh, just behind me is the what we call the patient side cars. So these are the cars that are sitting here. I control the robotic arms and the instruments. And then on the other side is the vision cart. So our features are very different than any other existing technology. So firstly, this one is prepared for up to five arms. Sure. And we have a very high definition 4K resolution monitor. We can also use three, four, or five arms in our system. It allows us to position wherever required based on what procedure we are going to do. And also, if somebody is doing simple procedure, they just have to use three arms. So it becomes affordable. And also the vision card, we have given the same 3D monitor for the other people who are assisting on the table side or people who are learning. So essentially, we have given the best possible features and also abilities to learn and also with the 3D vision for the table side team, avoid accidents. So I think the procedure becomes safer, the learning curve gets shorter for the team, and also you can teach people. In fact, India is known as a country with the highest level of medical care in terms of standards. Without compromising, do it at the lowest cost. And we also at SSI had that goal and we have achieved it. Absolutely. Many congratulations, sir, once again for absolutely groundbreaking innovation and technology and all the best for the future as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. With that, it's time for us to slip into a very short break, but stay tuned for this exceptional opportunity to learn from the pioneers and also witness the latest advancements in the field of cardiac surgery. We'll see you after this very short break. Watching SS Innovations presents SMRSC 2025, the second global SSI multi-speciality robotic surgery conference. Time now to also take a sneak peek at some of the other key highlights from the conclave. Let's take a look. Limited infrastructure and medical expertise make specialized surgical care a challenge in remote regions. Sonam Wangchuk addressed exactly this concern in his session and explained how innovations like Mantra 3.0 is bridging the gap between urban hospitals and underserved communities, thereby democratizing and decentralizing healthcare for all. Technology really helps and hurts the least Often it's a balance of you know, damage and uh, service. But here it democratizes healthcare. You know? Even remote rural places where healthcare was difficult, this uh, makes it available at affordable uh, prices. Secondly, it is very good from the point of view of environment also. 
um, imagine if all the rural people had to travel to the cities with their whole family and you know near and dear ones and camp in the city move by air by whatever transport uh, so much cost both to the economy and ecology uh, whereas these technologies cut that all and uh, makes it very healthy for the patient and for the planet. So I'll tell you what happens right now in Ladakh. Um, as a special case, because it is a very remote deprived place, uh, many doctors from Ames travel to Ladakh all the way and hold camps and so on. Now that's very generous and kind of them. But how do you solve the whole nation's problem? For Ladakh, it is great, but what about all the other such remote places? So this is not practical, you know, for so many specialists to take their time and go to some rural places, only few can do it. Whereas with such technologies as Mantra, you can be in your own hospital, use only a forenoon to operate in Ladakh. And in the afternoon, you operate maybe in Assam or Andhra Pradesh. This is magic, I think, and it uh, cuts the cost for people and cuts the emission and pollution for the planet. With this technology, if you have the physical infrastructure, the human resource could be sitting in one place and using that infrastructure and solving, serving a population that's much larger than what you could do in a metro if it was really physical on offline operations. So it's, it's magic. The two-day conference brought together leading national and international luminaries who not only moderated live surgeries but also delivered presentations on a wide array of topics from knowledge sharing about SSI Mantra 3.0 to the expanding potential of robotic surgery, role of AI in modern surgery practices and a lot more. The Experience Zone at SMRSC 2025 showcased multiple SSI Mantra 3 systems along with various cutting-edge teleproctoring and telesurgery units offering attendees interactive demos by experts. The event concluded on a melodious note with a mesmerizing performance by Sarod Mastro, Ustad Amjad Ali Khan. So I'm very happy and honored to be part of this robotic conference and I'm looking forward to uh, perform today. And I hope uh, this new technique of robotic surgery, I hope people are more benefited and we, are, we gain all the benefits of that. India is well on the cusp of scripting a unique growth story as it ushers in the era of Amrit Kal, the 25-year lead-up to India at 100. Ensuring an inclusive, quality and affordable healthcare for all is an important milestone and will further India's global vision of Vasudeva Kutumbakam. After two incredible days at SMRSC 2025, my key takeaways are that the vision of healthcare in India and healthcare by India can be achieved by concerted efforts of all stakeholders. And events like this serve as catalysts for learning, collaboration, path-breaking innovation and knowledge sharing among thought leaders, thus shaping the future of global healthcare. Goodbye and thanks a lot for watching.